Hi everyone, Jeremy Simon here with 3D Universe. I just wanted to do a quick video here to show you a couple of the new features in Ultimaker Cura version 3.6, which was just released. I'm not going to go through every new feature here. I just wanted to point out a couple of the more significant ones. So the new marketplace in Cura has a couple of sections to it. There's the plugins, and uh, we did have plugins before. We'll go through some of those plugins in a different set of videos. But what I wanted to call attention to here is the new materials section. You can now find a number of third-party materials here. And if you click on any one of these, you'll see specific materials that that vendor offers. And you can click to install a profile for that material. That'll include all of the settings that you need to work with that material on your Ultimaker printer. So this is a really handy addition. And they're constantly expanding the range of materials that are here, including a community contributions section. So you'll see a growing list of options here. And then they have some generic profiles down here on the bottom for different types of materials. You can use that as a starting point if you want to build your own materials. They give you some good starting settings there. So that's one of the more significant uh, updates with 3.6. Now some of these new materials you'll find are abrasive, that is they are filled with carbon fiber um, pieces or glass fibers or other abrasive materials like that. So another addition with Cura 3.6 is under the print core menu you will now find support for the new CC Red 0.6 cores. These are the new print cores that have a hardened ruby tip on them, so you can print those abrasive materials without any trouble. And the Ultimaker S5 also has hardened steel components in the feeder, so you're all set now for those abrasive uh, materials. So I just wanted to point out those two features in Cura 3.6. There were some other changes, like they added some new infill patterns and other uh, slicing improvements, uh, but I'll save those for another time. So thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. See you next time.